Let's begin with an empty scene in 3DS Max. Go to the extended primitives, select the Hedra primitive, and drag it into the scene. Change the family to Dodecaigos. Set the P parameter to 0 0.8. Now set the Q parameter to 0 0.27. For the time being, let's change the size parameter to 16.0 millimeters. We can adjust this later if necessary. Press F4 on the keyboard to reveal edge faces. I usually prefer to add a standard matte gray material to the object and change the wireframe edges color to black. This is of course optional, but it tends to enhance the modeling workflow with clearly defined visual cues and allows for a more streamlined aesthetic to the object you're working on. Apply an edit poly modifier to the object. Press 4 to enter polygon mode, then select a triangle polygon. Select similar from the modify selection panel of the modeling ribbon to capture all the identical polygons. Press delete on the keyboard to permanently remove all of the selected polygons. Press 2 for edge mode. Select one of the long edges on the quad polygons. Select similar to grab all identical edges. Hold shift and click connect in the ribbon. Change segments to 11 in the caddy, then click OK. Press 4 for polygon mode. Select any pentagonal polygon, then select similar. In the command panel, under soft selection, Check Use Soft Selection, then check Edge Distance. Enter 6 into the Edge Distance parameter. Enable the Rotate and Select mode. Change the Reference Coordinate System to Local and change the pivot to Use Selection Center. Now enable the Offset Mode Transform Type-In at the bottom of the screen. Enter 230 into the Z parameter and click Enter on the keyboard. Disable Soft Select. With the pentagonal polygon still selected, shift-click Inset to bring up the caddy. Change the amount to somewhere around 0.2 millimeters, then click OK. Press 2 for edge mode, then select one of the center edges as shown. 
Select similar for all identical edges. Bring up the chamfer caddy. Adjust the chamfer type to quad. The amount to 9 millimeters. Change segments to 3. and edge tension to 0 0.5. Then click OK. Select one of the edges above the chamfer we just made. Then select similar for all the identical edges. Now hold down control and press backspace on the keyboard to remove all the edges along with the vertices. Add a shell modifier. Increase the outer amount to 1.5 millimeters. Check the Select Edges option box near the bottom of the panel. Now add another Edit Poly modifier to the stack. Enter Polygon Mode and notice that the edge polygons are still selected. Hold Shift and click the Edges icon in the Selection panel. This will automatically select the outer edge loop borders based on that polygon selection. Add a crease modifier while edge mode is still active. Change the crease parameter to around 0.25. Add an open subdiv modifier. Change iterations to around 3 or 4. I recommend 4 iterations if you plan to export for 3D printing later. Since the modifier stack is parametrically live at this stage, it's possible to non-destructively correct the intersecting geometry in the object one of two ways. First, and most obvious, you could simply decrease the outer amount of the shell modifier until the edges no longer overlap. This may or may not be a viable solution if you plan to 3D print the model. The other option is to go down to the primitive level and increase the size parameter of the primitive until the intersections are eliminated. This method is better suited for preserving the object's overall volume for 3D printing. That concludes this lesson. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please consider subscribing to the channel for more content. Don't forget to activate the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I upload some new videos. Thank you again for your support, and I'll see you in the next video.